Let me start this off right away by telling you that I love found footage exploration horror movies. It's a weird niche, but I can't help myself. The Pyramid from 2014 hits all these genres, so if I sound really into it, take it with a grain of salt. Not everyone will like this movie as much as I did, but if you're like me, you might enjoy it. starts off with some rioting in Cairo. It seems like the people and the government are fighting and it might just break out into a civil war. But Egyptian conflict is the last thing our archaeologists are worried about. Dr. Holden Miles and his daughter Nora just found a rare three-sided pyramid, the only one of its kind, buried under the sand. This is unusual because it takes millennia for sand to cover up something like this. So whatever it is, it's old. To document the discovery, they're joined by Sonny and Fitzy. Really? Fitzy? Is that even a name? Anyway, they find a small chamber that they could use to explore the inside of the ancient tomb. But first, you gotta have that mummy's curse. When they break through, it releases poison into the air and seriously injures some of the workers. They explain this as a fungus that has built up over thousands of years, and it's not a curse or anything other than bad luck. Just as they're planning on how to get inside their newly found discovery, the government comes in to put a stop to it. This guy says they have to drop everything and start packing due to the government conflict. But they're so close. Just let them take a quick peek inside. So Zahir, the robotics expert, convinces him to let them run a drone down just to take a quick look. Well, this drone, which they call Shorty, is on loan from NASA and it costs six million dollars. And wouldn't you know it, it gets taken offline by something. They can't just leave it in there, so they all head in to retrieve it. But really, it's just an excuse to go inside and see everything for themselves. Honestly, I don't blame them. They find Shorty, and he's pretty messed up. They all thought it was just a dog that wandered in, but this was no dog. They wander around a bit and find the top of the pyramid. Inside, they find a bunch of weapons, which are usually ceremonial, but these were used in battle. Nora takes one for testing so they can try and get a date on this thing. When they climb down, they can't even remember what direction they came from. So, yep, you guessed it, they're lost. Some experts. They wander around a bit and eventually come into a large room, but the floor isn't stable and starts to crack. They all fall down. Everyone survives, but a rock falls on Zahir, crushing his leg. Nora doesn't want to leave him, but they need to find a way out. So they continue on without him, promising they'll come back with help. They search around a little bit, and Sunny finds a shaft that she thinks she can climb through. She makes it all the way to the top, but there's a cat! Yeah, some old bony cat scratches her on the face and she falls, but Fitzy softens the blow, so she's okay. But the getting out through the shaft thing is off the table now. They look around a little more and find a sealed exit. They probably should have started there instead of trying to climb up a dangerous shaft, but anyway, they break through and head down another tunnel. It's not long before they hear Zahir screaming. They rush back to him, and he's gone. Only a nasty blood trail into the wall was left. There's no way a cat did that. Something else is down there with him. They all calm down a bit and are able to keep moving forward. They find a tunnel, but it's a tight fit, and they're going to have to crawl. 
As they're making their way through, they hear something behind them. They start booking it and make it out where the soldier is waiting for them. So that's good. And he's got the firepower to take out the cats chasing them. But it doesn't do anything. Either he's a really bad shot or these are supernatural cats. Just then, something grabs the soldier and pulls him away. They hide from the monster for a while, but there isn't really much they can do except keep trying to find an exit. As they wander around, they find a room with hieroglyphics depicting the final judgment. According to this movie, the ancient Egyptians believed that when a person dies, they go in front of Osiris and their heart is weighed on a scale. If it's balanced, they're sent to the afterlife. While going down another tunnel, Holden touches a weight and triggers a booby trap. The place starts filling up with sand and they have to escape for their lives. Sonny and Fitzy make it out, but he bumps into her and she falls into some spikes. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Then some cats come and start eating her alive. Man, could this get any worse? Well, yes, yes it can. Everyone makes it out of the sand trap and they try to lift her off the spikes. This is more than her body can take, and she dies. Eventually, they wander into the ceremonial room at the base of the pyramid. They start to think that this thing wasn't built as a tomb like other pyramids, but as a way to imprison a god. Next to the altar, they find a dead body that's old, but not ancient. They read his diary and discover that he was a Freemason who discovered the pyramid back in 1897. And they're in luck. He also found a way out through the burial chamber. Too bad he didn't make it. Just then, a huge claw goes straight through Holden's chest. The other two have to run for their lives. Fitzy decides that it's better to just face this thing head on instead of running from it all the time. So he goes back and we finally get to see a good look at this thing. It turns out this is Anubis, Osiris' son. So the pyramid was built to contain a god. His heart is impure and, as we found out, the only way into the afterlife is a perfectly balanced heart. So he killed hundreds of ancient Egyptians trying to find the perfect candidate to let him pass and be reunited with his father. But the Egyptians were tired of being murdered, so they sealed up the pyramid along with Anubis, who continues to look for a perfectly balanced heart. Okay, so for Nora and Fitzy, it's not good news. Now they have an ancient Egyptian god to worry about. They do discover, through more hieroglyphics, that there is an exit shaft that would be the path for the dead to reach the afterlife. They look at the ceiling, which is a star chart, and figure out the right shaft and find an exit. Luckily, there's a rope ladder there, which I guess is from the soldier when he came down, so they start climbing. But they better hurry, because Anubis knows they're there, and he wants their hearts. He's chasing after them, and it's not looking good for Fitzy, who fires a couple shots at it, but come on, what's that going to do? The creature grabs him and goes for Nora. She makes it out, but she's not safe yet. Anubis jumps out of the hole and pulls her back down. When she comes to, she's tied up on the scales, and it's judgment time. She's using the axe she found at the top of the pyramid to cut the ropes, and she gets out just in time. She stabs Anubis and makes a run for it, but the cats stop her. She's cornered and nowhere to run. But just then, the cats start attacking Anubis? Why? I figured these things obeyed him, and that's why they're still alive down here, but nope. They don't care what it is, they just want to eat. This gives Nora time to climb up and out, finally escaping the pyramid. She passes out, and when she comes to, a child is there looking at her equipment. Then, boom, Anubis takes them both out. What? What was up with that ending? 
It sounds like they hit the hour and a half mark and said, okay, we gotta wrap this up. I wish they would have came up with something a little bit better. Maybe have Anubis rip her heart out and find that she's perfectly balanced. But instead of Anubis going into the afterlife, he's cast down for killing all those people. Then Nora floats up and joins her father or something. I don't know, I just came up with that in 10 seconds. But it's better than what they came up with. Which is a shame because I actually really like the rest of the movie. Again, it's my opinion and I love this kind of stuff. Ancient Egypt is cool and it's fascinating that they were able to build all these things with a hammer and chisel. And, well, I mean, just ignore all the aliens that helped them build all these pyramids. But anyway, the hieroglyphs on the walls, the traps, the curses, and the ancient gods, it's all fascinating stuff. I kind of wonder why this movie didn't do so well. In the United States, it made less than 2.8 million, and the budget was 6.5 million, so that's not good. The producers didn't make their money back. It had some decent actors, Ashley Henshaw plays Nora, and Holden is played by Dennis O'Hare, who were both in HBO's True Blood, and they were great in that. But here, they were pretty bad archaeologists. I'm pretty sure rule number one is don't touch anything, and Holden triggered that sand trap. The CGI monster looked as expected for the time. I would have preferred practical, but maybe a mix of the two? But no, they went 100% CGI. It's also really dark. I recommend you watch it at night in a dark room. Watch the pyramid, but when you get to the part at the end when Anubis has Nora tied up, stop it and come up with your own ending. It'll be better than what they came up with. I give it two and a half literal hearts on a scale out of four. I haven't smelled anything this bad since Zaheer's tent when he had the beans the other day. What the hell is wrong with you, man?